Okay, here's a deep and hack video for you. This is the uh, Ted Harbit designed adapter that he had ATI build for him uh, to put an ATI super damper onto a Studebaker engine. It's a it's kind of a pretty piece. It's it's all there. And one of the interesting things about a Studebaker that I learned, with the exception of some of Vani's, is the center line of the crankshaft and the center line of the key goes right up the center of the cylinder. So if you've got everything in the end, your keyways lined up pointing to up the number one cylinder, everything's going to be a top dead center. So if you look at this, there's six holes in here. Three of them are counter, or six of them are countersunk. Three of them are the drive holes. So when you go to put this on, if you're very careful about how you do it, it just slips right on. And then to know if you've got it right, you put it in one of the drive holes, you should be able to just start your bolt real easy. Now the next step on this thing is this is the crank trigger ignition for the MSD. You can see the little magnets that pick up. Uh, now this, if you also see on here, there's a little relief into here, and that kind of was my brainstorm that I got this morning after sleeping on it all night. This little index mark here registers on this little lip here, so when you put this on, it doesn't slide around. It actually centers on it and works out real well. Now, the blower pulley that I got from Dave Bloomberg it also has this offset which you need so you'll have enough room for the crank trigger pickup to pick up right here in between and that's fine but what I did to it uh, between last night and this morning and my idea was there was no way to index this on this plate now Dave did it a different way because he had a different setup so there was no way so this thing was literally centered by the bolts and it was, you, were, you were counting on the bolts to keep this big mass and all the pull from the superchargers centered and I didn't like that so what I did is I actually just faced this and cut a little relief on the outside a very small relief and the reason I did that is I put a matching relief onto into the uh, uh, crank trigger setup so when you put this crank trigger on and you index it on here it's up right and you index it on here and line it up with the bolt holes. When you go to put it on the supercharger thing, the same thing happens. It instead of sliding around like this and counting it on the bolt holes to hold it on, it now snaps into place and indexes right on there so it can't move. So when you put this on, you set that on there. Now you set the pulley on here and everything is indexed and I've marked which hole it is that you want to go into. So when you set it on there, instantly you can drop your bolts in and uh, everything lines up very well. Uh, these bolts are too long because they're just my mock-up bolts. But now I've got a very solid piece on here that there's no run out and there's no alignment problems and I'll be able to pick that up. Now what I'm trying to do next is see if I got enough room using a... stay still. I've got several pulleys I was thinking it would be nice if I could sneak this pulley in here to, as you can see here on the camera, if I could sneak this pulley in here and still be able to get the pickup, I'd be able to run the alternator off of this. Uh, still thinking on that idea, but I'm just real happy to get this one lined up. So that's it for now. Trying to keep the video short. Thanks. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.